Hold on, wait. Time out. My mom's calling. Yes, mother. What's up, everybody? I'm Big Mike. And I am Brando. And this is Brewheads. You damn right. And the Lord say Brewheads! All right, so today we got a little care package from Thimble Island Brewing yes, Company. Yes, yes, Um, I am uh, slightly excited. Yeah, I'm excited to see what they sent us. I haven't opened it up. I just, as soon as I got it, threw it in the fridge and um, waited to uh, record. So, here we go. Damn. Mechanics, parts guys, always got knives. Always. Always got knives. Might not be sharp. It's, <laughs> it's, it's snap on? Of course it's snap then on. You know it was expensive. <laughs> oh, okay. We do we have we do have a favorite in here. We got uh sea foam. Actually, huh? Uh -huh. Sea foam. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, we'll uh -huh. take it out and look. Let's take it out. Oh, oh, oh. actually. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. And we will use the thimble island glasses. Oh, and they sent Ooh, and yeah, glasses. and glass. Oh, okay. Yep. Glassware, so they, they fooling around. Not fooling around. No, uh, no Gorgo, Grago. I always forget his name today. We got nice Blossom. glassware. Fire Island. Ooh. Yeah, Blossom I've been I've been wanting to try that I haven't got a chance to yet. <clears throat> we got Seafoam, New England Pale Ale. This New England Pale Ale is light-bodied, um, a light-bodied brew, dry hopped with citra hops to create smooth floral citrus aroma. You can't go wrong with citrus. I don't think I've. Did we do? No, I don't think we did. I've never had seafoam. No, I don't think we did seafoam. Um, this one, this is one of our most popular varieties. Yeah. Then uh, we got Ghost Island Double IPA. This I've had. We've had this. More West Coasty, I believe. I don't think yes. we did. Yeah, I don't think we did a. Did we do a review on this one? I know we did a review on one of them. I don't remember if it was the double or the triple. Might be double. Might be. But we'll see how it's yeah. stayed, improved. Um, if we like it, we're going to tag them in it. Uh, this West Coast style double IPA is bold, complex, with an intense crispiness, smooth finish. We dry hop it with citra. Can't go wrong. To add uh, vibrant grapefruit and citrus aromas and flavors, creating a unique, uniquely dynamic and refreshing brew. Ooh, this next one sounds good. Blossom. Cherry Vanilla Sour Ale. You know I'm about that. Yeah, you are. That's in my bag. Yep. Ooh, man. Uh, we're cherry excited about Blossom. Those classic flavors of sweet cherry and smooth vanilla come through with crisp tartness. Spring is in the air with our new Fruited Kettle Sour, sour Ale. Blossom. Nice. And here we go. Fire Island. New England India Pale Ale. Can you keep Vic's secret? Good play on words, Ooh. and we do like Vic's Secret. Uh, if so, then come on out to Fire Island, our hazy New England IPA featuring the popular Vic's Secret hops. You'll savor those tropical notes of pineapple, pine, I do love my piney, yeah. and passion fruit in every sip. So I'm going to pour. Mike's going to blow his nose. Yep. We've learned over time that we need to do one beer, split it, um, you probably heard the stories of doing six beers on a weekend. That's 18 beers. Because we would, all three of us, do a beer. God, quite interesting. Clinton's very handsy. Very handsy. Handsy. <laughs> that wasn't even me. I didn't put the... Oh. No, I did. <laughs> it scared the fuck out of me. I hope you got that. Oh, man. All right, so... <laughs> Here we go. We're, this is Fire, Fire Island. Island. So, color. I forgot what yeah. we're doing. Color, dirty. Dirty, nice yep. and dirty. Thimble dirty. That smells good. Now I'm getting it. Oh, I do like this, Big Secret. Yeah, this smells real good. I remember That's candle. Big Secret from uh, when Hanging Hills would do Old New England. Yeah. And then they would add, well, yeah. they had the Big Secret one. That was good. All right, let's Ready. go. Ooh, West Coasty. It is actually for Vic Secret. You know, it's usually kind of hoppy, but not as. But this is like 
Ooh, it's got like this a, got a nice a little brashness, hot. yeah, but not overbearing. Yeah, not overbearing, not insulting to the palate. Slightly a little too cold. My fridge got a little, little. It did, yeah. yeah. <laughs> was this in the fridge or the freezer? It was in the fridge. Wow. Yeah. This is good. I can tell you, I can get that Fire Island. Like, I'm up. I'm awake. Two of these will put me to sleep. <laughs> oh hell yeah! It it is, but it's definitely more on the piney side of yeah. Vic Secret. Yeah. Because <clears throat> you know you get a lot of people who don't like the Vic Secret just because it's on the hoppier side, and this is definitely on the pinier side of hops than it is on the fruity side. I like that piney. This is this is very pleasant to drink after you get over that, oh, that yeah. first brashness this, of like. This is really really good. Good job on this one, guys. Absolutely. Um. I am a fan it, of it Vic's is, Secret. Yeah, man. we're fans of Vic's Secret, and this is definitely a beer that, you know, when someone says, hey, I never had a beer with Vic, Vic's Secret, Fire Island. Oh, yeah, you got to try Fire you know? Island. Fire Island. Oh, it even burps pineapple and pine. That's good. That is good. Ooh. All right. Next up. Ghost. Island. Double <clears throat> IPA. Another eight percenter. Fire Ireland was also eight percent. I remember having this in when I first kind of started getting into the uh, to craft beer. Yeah. It was harder to drink, but it was like working out. You know, like yeah. like I don't work out. <laughs> but you know, start off with the fives. Mm-hmm. And then the fives aren't so bad, so you go to the tens, and then you go to the twenties. That's where I stop. But that <laughs> this is like the first time you start working out and you go home and you're like, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> fuck. Like you can't you can't like lift your arms up the next day. You're just like, you all get, right, you know, like I'll get the dinosaur arms. Yeah. <laughs> my little my T Rex arms. But this but, was one of the you ones know, you like I had to revisit yeah. and revisit just to get my mouth. Ghost Island is definitely one of the uh, the beers that's been a staple whenever I yeah. think of Thimble Island. Oh, geez. Yeah, Ghost Island is always the first beer I think of when I come when it comes to. The... <clears throat> Excuse me. Whoo, that burped good. Down the hatch with fire. All right, Ooh, so uh, we got Ghost Island Double IPA. All right, after that phone call, we still got a just slight little. The head dissipated. The head dissipated. Yep. There was some. Yeah. There was there was some good head there. Golden hazy. Yeah, golden hazy, Little. which is a staple of an old school IPA. Yeah. You know? Yep. That old school West Coast is usually a little almost to uh, amber. Yeah, this is color. not New England. This yeah. is West Coast IPA. You know, it's got more, you know, more maltiness to it. It's got looks like it's rougher. Yeah. More body. Yeah. Smell. Oh yeah. Smells yeah. West Coast. Smells West Coast. Yeah. We piney. Insert Clinton yeah. noise here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it smells piney. Yeah. It smells um not pungent but dank. Yeah. It's got that um not over abundance, but the very slight if someone didn't know you were drinking beer, they think you'd smoking some weed. Yeah. Um not real no real juicy yeah. aspect of it, even though it's got citra, but there's yeah. no real Yeah, this is old school. Yeah. This All is right. full on. Yeah. Oh. All the way through. Yep. Oh. All bite. All bite. All bite. Bitter. Hoppy. Oh. And good. M Misty Mountain. Yeah. 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 Misty Mountain. Yep. Yeah, that's a... Distant cousin. That is a great old school West Coast IPA textbook. You know, I've, I've been listening to, um, I have it on audio, Audible. I've, uh, I'm, at, I'm at chapter two. Uh, I've been listening to um, The Complete Beer Course. Really? Yeah. Boot camp for beer geeks, for, from novice to expert. We in there, little... Yeah. And, you know... <laughs> We've uh, uh, going through like the first. They discuss, you know, <clears throat> the old school IPA and stuff yep. like that, and the dankness and the kind of the punginess of it. And it's like, yeah, 
yeah, that's uh, this is the stuff that people thought all IPAs tasted like, right? And would just stay stay away. far the fuck away from it because they just didn't like that that dankness, that that bitter bite. I will say, New England IPAs did a lot for the beer industry, bringing In, yeah, new new. You know, beer geeks, beer nerds, yeah. beer lovers, craft. They're bringing them to this, you know, the love of craft beer. Yeah. And it also brought, it's it's so abundant right now that it's starting to bring people towards OGs. Yeah. Bringing them towards traditional style, mm-hmm. style beers. So yeah. I, without that New England IPA, love them or hate them, we wouldn't have this resurgence of old school awesome styles of beer but as always this is a good good if yeah. you if you want an og uh double if you, if you want to introduce someone into yeah. west coast style yeah this is it and get them I, get them a little silly at the same time i would you know what because it's funny like i forget how good this yeah. is I, I truly do forget and like i said earlier it's the beer that i think of when I think Thimble Island, I think of this beer. Yep. But I just I forget how good this beer really is. I think of this and money. Oh which was yeah, one of the Island Hopper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Money. that was good. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. Seafoam. Seafoam. I swear we did a. You know we've done so many videos. We probably have it. Three hundred and ninety four. But, <laughs> but goddamn. Yeah. I, I swear we remember before we were famous. <laughs> like yesterday. <laughs> All right, so the sea foam. This is the what again? This is New England Pale Ale. Nice. Not a so double. this is going to be light, crispy. Well, at least that's what I assume. Light. Crispy. Yeah, look at that. Oh, Oof. There's some dirt. There's some dirty at the bottom. Yeah, I likey. There we go. Some dirty at the bottom. Starter from the bottom, now we're here. Almost looks like a mega plume. Yeah. Yeah. You seen look, those? Yeah. You got to look it up. Look it up. Yeah. Look it up. It's kind of neat. A little weird. Yeah. So, hazy. It's like a, a hazy. yellowy, greeny, hazy. Yeah. Hazy. Greeny from the lights. Yeah. Okay. It's more all yellow. right. All right. Yeah, it's more it's got some matcha tea in it. <laughs> matcha tea. <laughs> <laughs> no, the same toxic earth. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. It's crispy. Crisp, fresh. Yeah, it smells like. Yeah. Spring. Yes. Spring is around yes. the corner. Yes, my ni- my sinuses are telling me that spring is right the fuck around yeah, the corner. Yeah, it is. Two mosquitoes today. Ooh. Got the West Nile yet? <laughs> no. <laughs> Not yet. Here's hoping. <laughs> I love the smell of this. Yeah. Show. Very. This is a candle. This is like, like a yeah. clean house. All yeah, right. the smell of this. Oh, I, <laughs> I don't even need to drink it. I can just... All right, let's go. Ooh. Ooh. That's a nice pale ale. That is. Little it, little crispy punch. Yeah. It, and you know what I'm trying to figure out? Is it I still have Ghost Island on my tongue? Yep. Or is it have like a nice little piney note to it? Not heavy, just slight. Just rolling face. This is where I'm at. Yeah. I can see why this is one of their most popular varieties. Very light, very, very, yeah, very everything. You know, you don't really need to be in any particular moment. I don't think it would go against any food. No, no I think this would actually complement. Yeah, lots of foods. <laughs> Bless you. Ooh, thank you. Yeah, this is like an everything beer. Like yeah. you can have this. You know, you want to chill by the fire. You want to have a dinner. You know, you want to just have a beer, chill out. Summer, winter, fall, night, yeah, day. This is an everyday beer. Friends by yourself, whatever. It's a well that's a well done beer. No, it is. I do enjoy pale ales. Yeah, yeah. Just that actually don't lie, we enjoy fucking everything. We do. Except the sours. You don't do the sours too well. <sighs> I enjoy it. I just haven't sour. found the right one. Yeah. <laughs> There's so many. Oh, God. That's good, though. Yeah. Well done. Pleasant drinking. Good in the yeah. mouth. 
Whoa, pause. <laughs> what happened? What, good in the mouth? Come on. It's not my first time. I have a, I have a, what is it? An acclimatized palate? What do you want to call I don't know what I want to call it. Climatized palate? Climatized, pal- yeah. climatized yeah. palate? Yeah. Do we have to worry about it climate changing? Just making shit up. <laughs> I have uh You mean like Clamatine or No. Clamatine. Clam- I don't know. I, was, I don't know what the fuck. Mine was, was more of a I'm word. I'm still trying to figure out. <laughs> Mine was more of a word. But it was not the correct word. Clamatine? <laughs> I don't know. It's like a, a climatological fruit. <laughs> All right. But um back to the beer. Yes. Very good beer. Very everything beer. We see how it's one of their more popular beers. Absolutely. Um, There's as, no, you don't have to prep yourself for no, it. No, no. It's for everybody. Excuse me. Um, Very, if you're into beer, this is definitely an easy go-to. And if Say, bloggers are all your game, you could definitely, you could yeah, definitely Yeah, you could definitely do this one, yeah. If yep. all you drink is lagers, you could definitely swing this. It's not, it's, even though it's a pale ale, a, well, New England pale ale, it's not aggressive in any in any way no very soft very uh i don't want to say like lemony limey but it has that that clean well what what the citrusness of it yeah. is more on the lemon limey than say orangey grapefruity right. <clears throat> it almost it almost feels like you know you have a lime in there you know like yeah. a corona Bam, Corona with lime. You're in. If you are a Corona person, this is you for could you. Do this. You could do this. Yep. We have <clears throat> Blossom, the cherry. Uh, che- what was it? Cherry vanilla sour. Yeah, this is the one I've been. The, the the vanilla might save it for me. Yeah, this is the one I've been wanting to try. I saw this on social media and was like, yeah. Uh, as soon as I see that, I'm grabbing that. But it ooh. got sent to us. Ooh. Oh yeah, you know you didn't have to do that. Yeah, I did. Right. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm glad I did that. Just like, ooh. Yeah. You gotta buckle up, buttercup. Yeah, yeah. Fasten your seatbelts. Shirt got smaller. <laughs> yeah, mine too. Yeah. I love the color of this. It it almost it's, it almost looks like like a amber ale. It's got a nice little reddish hue to it. It does. I like that. All right, ready? It's got a lot of head. Ooh. <sighs> if you've ever smelt a sour beer. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's what I, that's the effervescence. Effervescence? You, you keep saying it and you're, you blow it out of Eff- my head. Effervescence? Wait. Effervescence? Effer- Evanescence? Um. Evanescence? <laughs> no, 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 no. No one even knows who she is anymore. I know. Uh, <laughs> that was a one-hit wonder. <laughs> Sorry for any Evanescence fans out there. Um, effervescence. Effervescence. Whoa. There you go. Effervescence. The combination of what he said in the band. Yeah. Effervescence. There it is. It's but so no, 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 hard. No, 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 no. But wait, wait, wait. There's more. There's a saving. Like Where? really get in, really get in there. Do you smell the vanilla at the end? No. There's like you don't. No. All you smell is the tart. You can't yeah, get the sweetness get of the, the vanilla. Oh my oh. god, that's that right there. It's gonna hurt. Is like, mwah. Oh, here it goes. You know what? Because there's like that vanilla note at the end of Maybe it, I'll and it's like it. a little sweetness Maybe to I'll it. Maybe I'll taste it. Oh my god. Here I'm, we go. I'm Let's worried. go. Let's go. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Go I get a vanilla. little bit of I get a little bit of tart. I get a little bit of cherry mm-hmm. and vanilla. Mm-hmm. This is good. It oh. Well done. Well done. Now look at me does, drinking a sour. I know, right? I'm growing up. It doesn't say if they did this without 
lactose. I even, don't think there is. Even, no, there's no. Yeah, there's no even lactose. more impressive. Yeah. Even even more impressive nope. on how they were able to do that where it was just, just enough sour yep. to just get those juices flowing in the back of your jaw. With the new fruited kettle sour. No lactose. There's yep. no lactose in this. Well done. I Yeah. To, I to, be, able, to be able to get that just, just enough sour. You get that right here, them... them them juices flowing in the back it's of the jawline. It just tickles it. it just get it going a little bit. And then the vanilla sweetness just brings <clears> you <throat> right back. It saves it for anyone who's super tart sensitive. And uh Hi, I'm Brandon. Oh. It's got a nice, like the only reason why I wonder if it had lactose because it has like a cereal y finish. I think that's to vanilla. It, but it just could be the vanilla. It it could just be. Because it has like this nice weedy, weedy flavor at yeah. the end of it. I think it. the only the only Swedish part we're getting, sorry, sweet, it, sweet ish, wish, yeah, not mm. Swedish, <laughs> sweet ish, sweet ish part that we're getting of this is just the vanilla. vanilla, just the vanilla, and it's, it's a very smooth tart. Yeah, yeah. It's not. And then once you, after the first sip, and then it's that, easy. that abrasiveness of the, the sourness is gone. Gone. I give this a 3 out of 10 on the uh, the puck scale. We've had some 10s. I love the 10s. I know you do. But this is this is drinkable for the puck sensitive, mm -hmm. you know, beer lover out there. I I wish it would just... I understand what they were going for. I, for me, personally, as a, as a sour lover, I could just... Just like, give me one more gear. Yeah. Give me one more gear. Yep. Give me fourth. <laughs> Shift to fourth. Mm-hmm. Man. That was definitely like a third gear pull and let off. Yeah. Well, because you already you were at the end. I think you were at the end. Once you pass the, the freaking the flag, <laughs> you're gonna shift and go? <laughs> Who you running? Who you running from? <laughs> But yeah, this is a good sour. You know what? This is a fantastic lineup that they sent wow. us. I'm really, I, I'm glad we did this at the end. I'm yeah. glad we did it at the end. You always do the sour at the end. I know, yeah. but I'm just saying, we we did right. Yeah. Always do the sour at the end. If you're doing a bunch of beers at once, always do the sour Those at the, the end. Those are the lessons that we've learned. Yeah. We're, we'd like to pass them on to you. Yeah. One, just do one can for the, the group. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> um, share it. Yeah, share you know, it, there's nothing wrong with it. Plus, plus, if you're the one that bought the one you're sharing, you get to keep the other three. Just <laughs> words of wisdom. And go from high to low. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> do not, if you're doing porters and stouts, do those first or last, but do not yeah. mix and match. Do not mix and match, yeah. It is always stout season, but that doesn't mean you should ruin it by introducing India, you know, IPAs in the mix. Yeah. A lager you could get away with. I still suggest doing stouts, porters, and then switching over to uh, anything else. Uh, and yeah, and sours last. Did we miss anything? That is it. That's, right. that's true wisdom from the brew heads right yep. there. Yep. Always wipe front to back. Yep. <laughs> Depending which way you sit on the toilet. Like if you're sitting the other way and you're, you know, you got your phone on the tank. I don't know who sits like that. I don't. I don't. That's <laughs> no, no. That's, that's for another video. Nobody. Um. But yeah, this is um a great lineup. Great lineup. This sour summer beer all day. Um. The uh. OG freaking uh, Ghost Island. OG. If you want a real OG, yeah, that's 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 one of the beers to go for. Um Fire Island Fire, I really Fire Island. Really oh like my that. god, that's 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 a new bomb. Diggity, man. You guys did the thing on that one. I will say even though I love Fire Island, I, I got to go back to this is my favorite out of the bunch. The Ghost. It's my favorite out of the bunch. I will forever think of Thimble Island and Ghost. Yep. Always. Um, and you know, you, in all honesty, you can't go wrong with the seafoam. No, I swear to God.
God, we've done Seafoam before, but oh my God. Who knows? We did so, you know, we've done so, we've had so many beers that we never recorded. Don't you, can you put this in your car? Seafoam? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you can put seafoam That's in your car. That's why I know it. Yeah, seafoam you can put in your car. It's not that particular style seafoam, right. but yes, yeah, seafoam. Well, I wouldn't yeah. I wouldn't waste this and I wouldn't drink the other shit. <laughs> I'll tell you that. It's more than 8%. So yeah, great lineup. <laughs> um, Please, if you haven't tried any of these four, go out and try them, man. Yeah. And I know for a fact you can get Ghost Island pretty much everywhere. You can get seafoam You can get everywhere. seafoam pretty much everywhere. You can get seafoam at Aldi's. So yeah, you can I'm get, just saying. Yeah, you can get sea foam everywhere. Yeah. Uh, check out uh, Fire, Fire Island. Island and check out uh, Blossom. Spring is coming. This this is the new one that I I personally was gonna have my eye on anyway, and I'm just glad I was able to get one. So to Thimble Island and to Kelly, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Appreciate thank it. Much appreciated. You have a, you sent out a great line. Yeah, I uh, love the glass. I mean, come on. Yeah, the glasses I love. I Honestly, need- this this is why we do it. <laughs> These, I fucking yeah. love the glasses. Yeah. And uh, as always, drink responsibly, stay wobbly, check out Thimble Island. We'll see you guys again. Deuces.